<laughs> Look at the sunset. It's just about to dip. A little rough, so that's been tidied up. New floor down on top of the old floor where the steels are. Oh yeah. But the head height's gonna be tight, well, isn't it? Just shows you how much room we're not gonna have. Yeah, just can't can't get over that sunset right there. Just wow. Where's the old hatch? So funny how I was like worried that people would be able to get through the hatch, but it's like under steel. <coughs> hatch has gone. There's like no way. Our stairs are gonna be a bit here, aren't they? Yeah. They'll arrive here. And then this is going to be office space and cupboards, built-in cupboards at the low height. Yeah. You can see, so head height going to be pinched from here. Just arrived up the stairs and I take a left into the spare room. And then the ensuite. Which it is, is the, the same as our bedroom. Yeah, it's the same width as our bedroom. I think and we've got chimney rest on bedroom as well. It's true, it's true. And actually, if you think about it, we've got a bed and then we've got about that much. Yeah, it's true. So by the time you put the bed, it's true. And I think as well, you can't visualise it because there's not a bed up here. We should bring the measuring tape up tomorrow and have a look. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> it's just me and Winnie today because it's a Monday that I'm filming this. So Freddie is upstairs at work and very busy. Just us gals. This one's been sleeping upstairs all day and she's just come down to see me and wants to sit on my lap and I'm actually like in full work mode here so it's not ideal is it so today's episode I am going to be sharing the mood boards that I have created for the kind of overall design and vision that we have for this house now we've not actually started ordering any pieces of furniture or kitchen bathrooms anything yet but I just think it's a really good idea to have everything parked so I know exactly what we're going to get, how much we're going to spend and when we need to order it by. I'm going to show you the mood boards I've created. They're kind of like 90% reality, 10% fantasy so there's obviously some things on there that are not going to fly because budget basically. I've been changing these for months and months. They have now become like majority realistic. So I thought it was time to share them. I'm gonna go through each room for each board I've created and just kind of show you the actual products and kind of rooms that I've seen on Pinterest or Instagram that I've kind of taken inspiration from so you can kind of see like a full vision. This has definitely been the most exciting part of the refurb so far. Like Thames water build over agreements and hearing scaffolders put scaffolding up have been not my idea of a dream home makeover. So this is my idea of a dream home makeover, looking at all the beautiful interior inspiration. So let's get started. Okay, so let's start with the kitchen. We're doing white cabinets against the back wall and then we're gonna do dark units on the island. The quartz worktop going over the island and waterfall edges down the side and then just have two bar stools like that. We're also gonna do this wooden shelf right along the back wall above the sink. We're gonna go for quartz worktop. So it's got this kind of marble effect. It's called Carrara quartz that we're looking at. We're not doing marble because it's porous and we just don't trust ourselves in the kitchen. It's also more expensive. So quartz is the better option. Big investment, but totally worth it. This is the dining table we have as well. It's from Hemming and Wills. We bought this dining table in mind for the kitchen we are creating. So it's gonna obviously be in the kitchen and then we're gonna go for these black chairs or something similar to this. Haven't quite picked the exact chairs just yet. It's just another look at some other inspiration. I've got my heart set on this Lara Duke ceiling light and then we're gonna go for these wall lights above the wooden shelf. Then we are definitely going to go for a hot tap and it's the Filtrata from Luso Stone. I'm actually working with them, which is awesome. So more on that later. These are the handles that we're going for in the kitchen. They're from Plank Hardware. And this is just another look at the kitchen, the white kitchen there. We're gonna go for that marble backsplash as well. So the quartz will go right up the wall. This is our utility room. So we've got the builder to bespoke build us a double stack laundry unit with space for cleaning products and ironing board, etc. Then we're gonna do, on the other side, units on both the top and the bottom, just for as much storage as possible. We're gonna do a Belfast sink in here with a more traditional faucet, and then we're gonna do metro tiles. These ones are the Murray tile from Porcelain Superstore. So moving on to the living area, we are trying to keep this area as neutral as possible because obviously it's still in the kitchen area. I have got my heart set on this Love Your Home sofa. 
it's the Sophie one and it's so cool because it's also a sofa bed as well, doubling up for guests. I love this neutral sourdough textured weave. Obviously not ordered it yet, but this is the kind of thing I'm going for. So these are just some inspiration pictures that I've got, I've saved from Pinterest. It's just the perfect combination of light and airy, modern, but still kind of traditional. So here are some screenshots from my saved folders on Instagram, Studio McGee and Amber Interiors, two of my favorite accounts. They've just nailed this modern, but kind of mid-century and cozy, but light and airy look. I love it, so good. Okay, let's move on to bathrooms now. So I'm gonna chat our family bathroom and then our ensuite as well. We've not decided if we're gonna move up to the attic room yet or not, so we're still trying to figure out if that head height's gonna be like a comfortable living space for every day, or if it will just be a kind of like little guest haven. So even if I'm referring to it as the master ensuite at the moment, it could actually just be the guest ensuite. And then we have the main family bathroom on the first floor. We have a five grand budget for both bathrooms. So if I spend more in the main family bathroom, then it means I have to like rein it in upstairs and vice versa. So I'm at the moment just trying to like balance everything out. And I've linked the things below that are like non-negotiables we're 100% getting. Everything else, including like the bathroom suites, will just depend on where we can source it at the time for the cheapest. Let's dive in. Here we have the main family bathroom. I'm gonna actually start with the tiles here because these are the winner. These are mandarin stone and they're the Oscar tile in white linen. It's a matte tile and it's just beautiful. Gonna do it in that vertical stack as well. Then we've got the mandarin stone fusion sand for the floor tile. These are very large slabs and they just work so nicely against that Oscar tile and I've got the samples here went through them all, these were the best combination. Tapware, we're gonna go for either a brass or a brushed nickel. Once again, this just depends on budget, so brushed nickel's actually working out cheaper at the moment, so probably gonna go with that. Just unsure if it's too silver or not, but we shall see. Victoria Plumbing is where we're gonna get our shower screen from. Here we are, here we have it in matte black. We're actually gonna buy the same one for both shower rooms. It's relatively well priced at the moment. So that's the one we're looking at. Our vanity, very important decision. So we considered making it ourselves DIY and then thought, no, water zone, busy area. We're just gonna get a really solid piece of kit. Tika Moon have been recommended by quite a few people and we fell in love with this one. So I've linked it below. I think it's so simple, beautiful, and I love the color of the wood. Terrazzo sink is also from Tika Moon. And then we have the black metal circular mirror and then Moving on to the ensuite, here we are. So we have the black taps are from Methven. I'm actually working with them. So I'm going with their matte black range. We've got the shower valve, we've got the waterfall shower, and we've obviously got the body shower as well, the taps to match. Then I'm gonna go with this concrete sink, and then I love it against this rustic wooden countertop. And then I'm gonna go for this West Elm mirror. It's actually a vanity mirror and it's got storage behind it, which is great because there's no concealed storage in the countertop, it will all be exposed. And then these are Dazzling and Reynolds lights. They are in a kind of like burnt brass color, love them. Tiles are once again from Mandarin Stone. So we've got the herringbone light gray on the floor and then we've got these like darker gray slabs for the walls. Okay, so seeing as we are up in the attic, I thought I would chat about the loft bedroom. We are having a real dilemma as to whether we are gonna move up there or not and it all depends on the head height, which we can't visualize yet until the roof is on. They'll be finished the kind of facade of the loft by next week, so we should have a decision soon. The head height is two meters, so that's the height of a standard door frame, so not high ceilings like the rest of our house, so it's obviously gonna feel a bit more like compact and enclosed. So I've done a few things on the mood board. This is a mood board I've created for the bedroom. It's light and airy. I've done the vertical paneling on the wall to give an illusion of height in the room. Also, the walls will be painted a, an off-white color and it will be the same color on the skirting and the ceilings as well, so that no point there's a color cut off. Beautiful linen fabrics and I've got a nice light colored fabric bed. I've got vertical hanging wall art and I've got a tall mirror. All of these things add length to a room as opposed to width. We want to increase that height as much as we can. Slim lighting, so we've got that really slim lamp and we've got the, the small wall lights, just nothing that's going to overcrowd the space at all. 
They're my mood boards I thought I'd share today. I'm not going to overwhelm with every single room in the house. We've done our bedroom and the lounge already, so I've shared those links below. So I thought I'd just give you a little sneak peek of the kitchen diner living area, the loft bedroom and the two bathrooms. The build progress has gone so well and I am going to do a month update next week. I am shook at how much they have done in a month considering we've had huge setbacks as well. Freddie and I are just working through budgets at the moment. We have a spreadsheet on it. We have a list of all the prices of everything we're going to order and then we have a separate spreadsheet of when we have to order certain things so we can anticipate how much money is coming out of our banks at each time in the build. The spreadsheets, spreadsheets sheets everywhere just keeping on top of stuff it's really helpful just going through itemizing everything each room has its own tab so I can highlight it and see what my current kind of spend is going to be in that room and if that aligns with our budget for that room and if it doesn't then I'm going to have to like make some adjustments so I obviously start like at the top and then we kind of work back to reality well that's it from me this week hope you enjoyed looking at all the mood boards with me and I will see you next week with another video bye